Okay. <clears throat> so today the topic is fragments. No, this is not a lesson in grammar. It's about you and your life. And all these topics I come up with are like pieces, in fact, fragments of different things that have been going on or happening to me over the past 24 hours. So I was with a group of people and we were reading things and there was like a summary paragraph and and the past summary paragraph is full of like fragments of sentences, which was irritating a person. And then, you know, I went to the city for a doctor's appointment and I was listening to some stuff on Facebook, uh, a person talk about, you know, certain things that you learned about how to be, how to communicate, etc. when you were younger. And um, it's almost as if, you know, you had a part of you that was sort of separated and broken off at that time. And now you're older and trying to figure out who you are. But it's almost like that, that jigsaw puzzle that's sitting on the table and you have two more pieces left, but you lost them and you don't really know where they are. They're either under the couch or the cat got them and chewed them up or something else like that. And so now you're sitting here and you're kind of annoyed because you're because you're saying to yourself, I can't finish the puzzle. So I don't really know what the full picture looks like. Where are those pieces? And so fragments, I think, you know, and I and again, when a word comes up to me, I look up the dictionary definition and, and it says it's a broken or separated off piece. So. You know, this is just a general comment on my part, which is there's so much focus on healing, which I love. I love watching videos. I love seeing people talk about how to heal. And at the same time, there is almost what seems to be a light shown or an emphasis on why you're trying to heal is because somebody else broke you. And I even talk about that, right? And this process of breaking or being broken is that I think in the process, as we're being molded into being adult, AKA growing and growing up, we were also broken apart. And some of the pieces of maybe what was when we were younger or new to life was broken off and lost. And now we're spending our adult time trying to either blame people for breaking it off or trying to figure out where it went. But ideally, I think the question should be, how do I get it back or do I want it back? And these fragments, I believe, are all um, like, like the same thing with the jigsaw puzzle pieces. They're in the house. <laughs> so these fragments are in you. And the thing is, is that are you trying to form complete sentences um, and you need those fragments? Or is it something where you're just not really sure what to do with them, but you recognize that there's a piece missing, right? So this sentence cannot be complete until you investigate what some of those fragments are. And I would, I would equate fragments to perceptions. I would equate even fragments to experiences. I would equate fragments to certain parts of you that might still be in there and others that might not, but that you need to complete yourself, to need to be whole need to become the person that you want to be. And so one of these conversations I had earlier was with, is with, was with, excuse me, a true loved one. And we were talking about just all the stuff that goes through our mind when we're listening to people and judging them. And it's just the ways we want to both overtly and covertly sneak in and say things that are snarky or even try to like <clears throat> teach them the right way to be by modeling or doing something that we think we want them to do because this need to control is so powerful and so equating the need to control other people back to this fragment is that once upon a time i was just myself i didn't know about other people being better or worse than me i didn't know like oh that person uh, should be schooled by me i didn't have any judgments of what good or bad or superior or inferior was it was a simple practice of just living breathing being when i was young and as we all know life happens right and we move along through life and a lot of these things that i'm experiencing effectively trying to let go of are um, things that I learned that are not really healthy and that were nobody else's fault. The, the fact that I picked up these habits, the fact that I learned how to be this way. And so now I'm just asking myself, am I complete? Am I whole? Or do these things make me feel disconnected? And if I feel disconnected, what is the missing piece? You know, what is this piece of the sentence that will make the sentence complete? What is this part of me that seems to be missing, but it's probably somewhere inside me that can overcome my need to judge and separate myself from other people? Because here's the shtick. 
and this person and I, and I'll end on this, we're also talking about relationships. I don't need to worry about what my relationships are like when my focus is on me and being the person I want to be. My relationships kind of work themselves out. That's just the way it works. Me first, other people later. So hopefully that makes a little bit of sense to talk about fragments today. Hopefully if you're looking for some of your own pieces and you don't really sure where to look, but you know that you're not living complete or a living whole and you don't feel good about the way your life's going, definitely get in touch. You can email or direct message me, Nicole at Nicole Devlin, and I hope all is well. Have a great day.